Well, hello, and welcome to part one of the uh, Klingon D7 Battle Cruiser uh, build. We're actually going to be building two. We're going to build an older version, which we're going to make as the uh, Romulan D7 that we see in, uh, I think it's the Enterprise Incident. <clears throat> and then the newer version, which is the more accurate version to the actual Klingon D7, um, that Polar Lights re released. Pretty much the same kit, they just updated some of the inaccuracies on it. Um, so we're gonna do that one as the, the Klingon D7. So it should be real cool. Um, it's gonna be, uh, they're nice sized kits, uh, perfect for shelving. Uh, we're gonna try to do some lighting in them. Um, this episode here, we're gonna be working on figuring out the lighting in the bridge area and how we're gonna light the two different ones. So let's get over to the bench and take a look. Oh, okay, uh, here we are back, uh, working on the D7s. Well, I made a decision and I decided to do something different. I decided to actually re-take uh, those putty uh, out that I put in there. I'm going to go with the big green uh pegs that go in there these guys I think I'm going to go with that just to make it more different than the Klingon now the Klingon I sanded the I sanded the, the they just had little nubs that you were supposed to just paint red so, so I went through and uh, sanded that a little bit flat and then I took my uh, little drill and drilled out the holes and then I'll run fiber optic in there and I'll run the red fiber optics in for that but I wanted to make this let's make it really quite different than the other ship that you know the Romulans they use a singular was it a singular whatever propulsion system at least in you know the bird of prey or the war war bird so i'm thinking you know they're always experimenting with different you know engine systems and stuff like that and even though they're using a, a klingon ship they would probably have modded it and i'm assuming that's how it went not that the ramen klingons used the ramen that was vice versa so let's make it as different as possible besides just these um i know those are called sensor antennae these are sensor antennae but maybe their sensors are better or, you know whatever and whatnot but i figured let's do it let's 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 do it that way it's gonna light up really nice and give it a totally different look so I went with it I popped them the putty back out and said screw it let's do it and it keeps the kit original which I don't know if that you know does anything for it but why not so I did it and there you know now I do have to order decals for this I thought I had some uh, my warbird has like a bunch of the Romulan bird, uh, different colored bird. Um, but I thought I had some small ones which I could put on the wings. And he usually gives me extra. Like I got a bunch of those big warbird, those Romulan bird things. And it's not the same that's like on the, uh, you know, the bird of prey, the little ship. Um not the same like that that eagle that's underneath it um so i gotta order uh i have to order decals for it and i found a thing online that's a J bot um but it seems like that gentleman had a stroke god bless his soul that he survived and everything's good i think that happened in 2020 20 or 18 
Um, so his store is not working. Like, you, you can go to the site, you can look at the stuff, but you can't order it because you go to shopping cart and it pops you this thing, and I didn't read it right away. And yeah, he's you know just not making them anymore. I guess you know, taking the time to build, um, which is good. That's okay. But they look like really nice decals, so that's kind of like bummer. Um, but there's always JT Graphics, but then JT Graphics uh, website is under construction. So, and he does really good graphics. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do there. Um, HDM HDA model works. I'm not seeing any decals for a ramen and D7. Um, I don't know if anybody has JT's graphics. Uh, his decals already purchased and they're for sale or what? Um, I'm going to have to keep researching and I hope by the time I get to decal and uh, his website's up. Now it says you can email him what you want but I'm not sure how that works how do you how do you work the PayPal thing because anything you click on a site it just does nothing so I'm not sure how that's gonna work so I hope his site's up and running or I'll leave plop him an email and see how I can get the decal because I'd like to see more because there's several decals there's two sets I think besides like they have the I think he I know the J bot did but I think he has the the uh, animated series decals for the ramen and D7 and there's this Stormbird or something and then he has one set it looks like it's just mainly those little birds that I got for my Warbird it has those little ones, which is great, and in just Windows. But also, I saw a picture of like at least the digital remastered original series Star Trek. You can see that bird that they have under the Bird of Prey on the D7. So I want that, and I see the graphics for that, like the stick decal sheets. But is that the only decal sheet? It just comes with the bird or does it have other things that go all you know and you can't tell because you, that's all you're seeing on the site you can't click on anything to pull up the main you just see a list of decals and you can't click on anything just to pull up just that decal set and see what's going on so I'll give it some time and see if his site uh, gets up and women running it's under construction I get it um, and see if I can do an email and see what's going on when it'll be up and running or if not I'll just ask him questions and you know and, and go from there um, and it's decals I can wait and wait and wait I can even fully paint it and fully assemble it and then I can put the decals on and then clear it and should be good to go but I just like to know. I'm one of those people that just likes to know it's it's ready and it's available. But anyway, let's move on. We'll take care of that somehow. I mean, I could always do that big bird that I have on the bottom, but I want to keep it more like the actual TS. I don't want to just come totally build something. I'm already doing some liberties. I don't want to totally build it as my own version. I like to have some base in in the uh, you know the cannon I guess or whatever you know what they look like and that's what's on the I don't, I don't remember what the original non when they were actual models what it looked like but the digital one where they had the digital ships the newer version of the original series yeah you can see the uh, and I like that and that's what I want on it so we'll take it from here but that being said we got a lot to build anyway so we got time and I can always hold off on that and until I can find the decals for it okay so where we're at we're gonna 
I'm trying to see how this would be lit and how I'm gonna light lights into this thing so you know cuz then this is gonna sit like that and yada yada I don't need that part get out of the way this will sit here it's just gonna fight with me it's been working fine all day but I gotta make sure I get light up in here but I think that's gonna work fine as far as getting light up there cuz even these stubs fit right they start poking ourselves down enough to catch light so that being said how do we what kind of light do I put in here because I'm also gonna have these front windows that have to be lit so I'll sand that once I get to put together this is one of the kits I'm gonna put together and then paint um, I know a lot of I do the I like the silver up here a lot of people just do it the green I don't really like that I don't know which one's more canon but that's somewhere where I'm going to take liberties but anyway I don't know if I can fit an LED strip here that would be the best. Just a small strip blowing this way, and that should give me light to come out all the way. But this doesn't give us much more height. So maybe I should just grab an LED strip if I have a smaller one. And I don't. But I think that's what we're going to do. Because that would make it easier. That would light these windows, that, and should do that all one shot. Now what else has to be lit up on this? Then the next thing is it gets to this dome, which it's going to have a bunch of light. And a lot of these holes on here, I'm going to drill once the ship's together. Um, I know this kit... already has the holes here where this one does not and I don't know why they didn't keep with that and the other bad thing about the new one that I'm now checking out is they don't even have window markings this has like even has the castings of the window markings on the ship and the holes already pre-drilled and stuff um, this one does not have any at all does it have a different decal set it could and it looks like it does the other one just has which we're not going to use This one just has just has that the symbols on the uh, on the wings and these that go on the wings. And that's it. So let's see what this one comes with. I hate having to open these, but you, these are questions you need to know. See what we got. It's like you need to know. Okay, and that even has the piece that goes over on the on the back. That's great. Where do those go? You got your windows. There they are. You even got those. We got a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what it is. There's red lines that go all over the place. But that's cool. Well, I guess. I don't know if I look off of this. Let's see if any of these line up to anything. This obviously goes across here. And, and the funny thing is it's on this, this part. They just didn't put it there.
Also, line up. Like that. And <laughs> not even all of them line up. But, I mean, I could always put the decal down and then drill. So I'll have to see how those line up. But, I'm not seeing it line up with anything on here. One, two, three, four. That's only one, two, three. And I would think. That would go like that. That might be that there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Sometimes I might even put the decal down as a template and then drill the holes through. And go from there. Which is probably what I'm going to do. So, but that that's nice that it gives you more than just that. Let me look at the difference in the kit. Decal sheets. And a good thing, because these are old. But they almost look better than these. Like, these are like a dry... Like, you see a shininess on the curve out here, but right there, there. It's like that, you know, it almost looks like they slid off or something. I don't know. That's weird. Well, if these are bad, I'll even order the Klingon versions. So, not a big deal from JT. Because I know he has the regular, I believe he does. I'm sure he does. He has the Romulan version. I'm sure he's going to have the Klingon version. And I'm almost wondering if I should just keep... I'm going to put this one in here with these. Maybe I should do this. Flip it so they're both facing that paper. And I should, like, get a thing to put these in so they're not getting scratched up. But there we go. But yeah, that's that's the difference in the kits. So what are we lighting up on this? And does it even have any lights on marked out on the boom? Nope. So it's like I'm almost gonna have to and that's might be what some of those decals are. This is the older instructions. What's where, where is the newer instructions? Oh, there are those parts everywhere. Boy, this, this, this is the newer instructions. <laughs> Real simple. There's the decal. So four is the decal. that. So I can do that too and put it on in pre-drill. Here I have the imprints to do a pre-drill. Because I'll put some. But why not? I'm gonna put some lights in here. That's not too hard to do. I can just put a little SMD LED right there. Set it back a little bit. And have it shine this way. I think I'm gonna do warm white on uh, this kit. I think I'm going to do warm light. Now let's get these off the sprues. This is the stand. You notice that that one's not there. It's, you can see how they're like the same kit. And there's where the stuff. Um, when we're not stand, we're not using. So I'm going to have to go to Hobby Lobbies. And, oh, this one gives me a round base. Yay! Yay! Yeah, the newer. So I got a, I got a round base. So I'm gonna need to come up with something different for the, the Romulan version.
Yeah, so that would explain why this has the two holes. Where are those supposed to go? Which we need to putty them up. But this one I'll get a wooden base for from Hobby Lobby. So, no biggie. So, but let's keep trucking with the, and stop talking. I can actually get these off the spurs, so let's do that. Connected it to the posts. Oh, missed that one there. The nice thing is that they are different colors. I know what kit I'm working on. This stand is just going to become nothing. I'm going to get you off your sprue. Love these new cutters. Probably shouldn't, you know. On these thicker pieces of plastic. It's not crucial. I don't need the nice sharp ones for this. It's all going to get sanded. And, at least I'm not dulling down my new ones on these big old honking spurs. And I'm going to start. Uh, I always keep my extra spurs. Some I throw and recycle. Throw in my recycle bin. But I'm going to start keeping some of these for stuff. They were great for piping. And doing stuff, and I think my one Enterprise D, when I have it separated, the saucer and the you know the battle section, I'm going to use all these, and I'm going to simulate, and that's a good word to use, a board ship as a base, and that's basically I think what they used was sprues, you know, just take a sprue and more sprues like that and it will eventually it'll look like a board ship <laughs> so I think that's how I'm gonna do that one some but now I'm gonna start collecting them in a box because I do keep my kit boxes even when they're done and empty eventually I'll probably get tired of doing that but right for right now I have been keeping them and uh, But I think we're going to have to change that, maybe. But at least, if, but I'm going to collect all the sprues because it always works for scratch building. They always work. It's definitely going to work for that uh, making a board ship because I think, if I remember correctly, that's how they built it. The original one was built with sprue parts, which is smart. That's the funny thing about like. It's the funny thing about it, you know, like the guys who do uh, special effects model building, they will, you, you know, it's all about efficiency. It's like, uh, is it Tom Foe, uh, the one gentleman does work at ILM, I can't, I can't think of his name right now, um, but he was talking at, you know, like, us model builders, we might say, oh, you know, look at this great model. It took me months to build where they're like, I just built like that in uh, two days because that's how it's supposed to be. And they won't finish, you know, if the model's only going to be seen on this side, they won't completely finish the other side. How many the Star Destroyers were not completely finished on the one side because it was always coming in from this from one angle it was always coming in from one way so they didn't finish all the detail on the other end until you know the end where they knew it was going to be displayed at you know museums and stuff it's like the death star the death star was was mainly the death star was mainly uh Matte paintings, 
but they did build one a model and it was only a half of the sphere because you didn't need to see the other spot no, no sense of making it a whole sphere when you're only seeing half of it so all right what am i looking for because i get rambling um we need to get some lighting out see if I pick the right size drill bit oh that's perfect perfect because I want them semi big I don't want them too small and then when that when I mushroom this size over which is the one millimeter it'll give me a good mushroom and I got red but it don't matter oh and there's a whole bunch of stubbies right there from uh, doing stuff I didn't want to go with the smaller stuff I mean, it could, but I wanted to go with the one millimeter, not the 0.5 millimeter. But again, I digress. But like I said, I'm going to do the warm light. That's blue. And this is the way to buy LED tape. This comes in five meters length. It's the dual density, so you have more bulbs per little inch. Um, and I forget how ridiculous this was. This was cheap for five meters. Plus it gives you, cause it's made to be just plugged in and you can just sprawl it out wherever you want. It comes with the uh, DC adapter, uh, the female end. And I just cut them off and uh, and I reuse that for model plugs it's like I bought all these things and I don't even need them these little batteries I mean they're good for a little 170 second scale coin battery cells they're one you know the little ships that only have one LED some of the Bandai kits I have one LED and it, it runs fiber optics like the TIE fighter just has a fiber optic that comes through and runs the engine and then they just drilled those two fiber optics into the LED and let the LED glow. It glows the inner cockpit, but then the fibers coming out of it go to the back engines. It's simple. That a coin battery things work good. And then I think that's what I got them for when I was doing those. But yeah, I mean this was cheap, but still. All right, I got a warm white. And a cool white. Do I have anything left out of my JT, out of my uh, paragraphic lighting? Paragraphic lighting is really nice too. They're, they're LED strips, really like. And they're a dual density, I think, as well. Um. Yeah, see, they give you quite a bit of light. Do I have an older version of, like, old school? Like, a, well, not old school, but a different lighting strip. Yeah, like, here's one that came with a kit. And you see, like, between, like, look at the difference. I don't know if you can see it, but the glare of light but there's in this same length that's their spot where the, you can cut and you get two segments because I could cut this one here and have three but there's only three LEDs there this little segment has three and this little segment has three but that equals the length of this one so it really gives you six so that's like great feels like there should be somewhere else in them get in there why does it fight me put that thing away a million times um, is this 
is the warm white. Yeah, so I want this one. This is blue. Need blue. So, yeah, so I have all these things in them. I don't know if I ever use them. Maybe I can put them and resell them. And they even have the little lead wires. I mean, I might find a use for them for something. That's my shot. I, I built pretty much a lot of the 72nd scale Bandai's that I want. And I'm starting to move to, I want them all to be plugged in. So, no biggie. Alright, so I don't think I need to use these yet. But yeah, this will be the warm white and I can get the same. It has the same as that. But actually, honestly, I think it's a little cheaper. Than what uh, Paragraphix is selling there is as. Hey, anywhere you can save money, at least as far as I'm concerned, do it. it as long as it works the same. You know, and these are great lights. I use these throughout the Falcon. You know, you can get them in 30 or 60 centimeters. They're high density. Uh, they're easy. You can get the. I think I do have them. The easy connects where you just slot them right in. You don't even have to solder. But. Uh, I prefer to solder stuff so it's permanent. I don't want something wiggling apart in my ship. That would stink. Alright, so. Will you fit? I'm not thinking. I'm going to think big no. I might have to go with like an SMD LED. be better if it launched yeah because look how much taller that is I don't think that's gonna fit and you can't really trim any of the edge because that's where all the leads between the lights are I mean sometimes you can like fold them I've done that like but these the dual density you don't have much yeah, they're pretty stiff I'm not gonna get so I might have to I don't think uh, see the bulb ones the problem with the bulb lights is they're very focused and you can grind them and do all kinds of diffusion to make them glow f bigger than they should be instead of being a focused light but uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna have a hot spot here like if I go with a regular bulb, I'm going to have a hot spot here, and I'm not going to like that. There's no, no difference in this. You know, unless I do something like, uh, and I only is going to need a, a three bulb section. So I'm only going to need that, so let's cut that. And my scissors. If I do use it, I'm going to need only just a section. Put that over there. Because we need to do this now. So we can close this ship up. Solder some wire and close the ship up. And, uh, I don't know what those holes are for. interesting what these are they're on both so and it can't be anything too drastic because it's gonna be like because then this oh just everything's gonna fight me and this goes like that 
I guess that is. I don't know what that's for. But I can run wires through it. I know that. So that's good. Okay. But we've still got this problem. Definitely no room in the back. I mean, well, let's try this. I glue them on anyway. I never trust, even though it's 3M tape on the back, I never trust it. It'll pop off. Guaranteed. Put one in the center. Kind of like that. So we got one directly in the center, two in the out. And hopefully that gives us. Now let's see if we can close this. That's going to be the only way to test it. No. I don't know if I can trim any of that. It doesn't need much. If I can trim a little bit of that edge. I'm trying to see if I can see the... I'm thinking I can. I'm thinking I can take this, this little edge. If you peel this next backing off, the actual... 3M tape, you'll see. My cat's running around all crazy. I can't get it to come apart. Sometimes, though, I believe you can peel this back. Seen it. Some LEDs you, you are you are able to see the backing of it. Well, I got plenty of them, so if it says hell no and dies, and oh well. But I'm going for it. I got plenty. <laughs> it's not like this is the only. I see the line, which is kind of the coating trim. And what we'll do, see if I can put this back on so I save the, what I can do is turn this on and see if I still have juice. It looks like the positive is that side, negative is the other. Hey, I still got light. So, but did that give me enough? And I'm still thinking a big no. Like I said, it didn't need much, but I don't think that's quite. Ah! And sitting, you know, and the other problem is there's no. keys and this is gonna be silver so it's all gonna you know and this is gonna have the light first gonna have the light blocking and now I'm gonna have it painted white or silver to bounce the light around and see that's pushing it it's pushing it up so do I dare Try to go a little more. Let's see how thin we can cut a piece of LED tape. 
before we cut into the circuit. Again, anyway. Something happened to these. Well, either I cut it or I'm running the wrong. Polarity, but I think I cut it. So I think I see a positive symbol there. Yeah, we cut something. Oh well, we tried. So that's not going to work. Yeah, we cut something. Oop, and that blew that bulb out. <laughs> oh, because it's after the... Yeah, so. I can't see the positive and negative, but that looks like the positive on that side. And yeah, we cut into something. Oh, well. This way. It's weird. There must have been some kind of contamination on there. Uh, I don't know. Little, two little, it's like two little drops, tiny little drops with a little bit of the gray, a little bit of the black. Came up, uh, yeah, we killed that okay. one. But, uh, like I said, we had to try. It's only one little section, so that's garbage. But, hmm. Well, this might be the thing. Can I see? Determined because it's so much easier to run a strip over. I don't want to use two little SMDs because I like to save them for when they're needed. Can you see it on this? If I can see the circuit board, I'm good. Anything, this is wider. <clears throat> I'd hate to just run one bulb up there. I mean, it might work, it's such a small ship. But I don't have a warm. Uh, like, just a warm LED bulb although you know although the yellow would probably work but it looks like I'm about to run out of power so I will figure this out you know the battery does not last very long in this camera but uh, although we have been going for 43 minutes but and nothing done <laughs> but let me keep trucking so because sometimes I get more done when I'm not on camera than when I am because I get talking too much but anyway um, we'll be back and hopefully I figured out this solution so take care <laughs>